As sportsmen, good hunters and fishers, it is our job to teach what we know to the next generation. Sometimes that's not always our children. Sometimes it's a first generation hunter or somebody that's never been exposed to it. And I think collectively we do a really good job of showing them how to handle a gun safely or to tie a knot or to get to that harvest point where we've taken an animal. The part I would like to see us grow on and put a ton of emphasis towards is teaching them how to sharpen a knife, how to skin an animal, how to gut an animal, what's in that gut pile, how to cut, quarter, and then how to cook and process that game meat. I just want to show you how I do it, just as another option and another method, because teaching this piece is so critical and so important. Thank you very much for watching. All right, first things first. If I was going to explain this to a young hunter, I would say put that rabbit right on his belly and then pinch him in his back until you can feel the hide separate from the meat and then make a small cut, just one little cut. And then using your fingers, you're going to want to just pull a little bit. This is a very, very easy animal to skin. And you're just going to skin him around right in the middle of his body. You're going to pull his hide into like two pieces. It's going to look like he's got on a pair of pants and a shirt. And then using your fingers, you're just going to pull real gently and just slide off his shirt and then slide off his pants. When you get up around the armpit there, just work your finger in between his arm and the hide and then just pull that hide right off right off the hands. You'll get a little bit of fur that will remain on the feet there. It's okay. We're going to cut those off later. And then from here, I just go ahead and remove the head. Just take it off now. Just be a little easier. You won't have to worry about skinning off the face. Same exact thing on the bottom. Just get a hold of that hide and just gently tug it off. It'll come out around the tail and across the legs. It's going to leave a little bit of hide on all four feet. That's perfectly fine. It won't change anything. We're going to cut off those digits anyway. So we're just going to get the main part of the hide off so we can take a look at the gutting process. All right, here we go on a small cottontail. Same thing, a little bit faster pace. All right, we're going to make that cut on his back. Skin him around with your fingers all the way around. Take off his shirt. Cut his head off take off his pants all done step number one get them skinned okay next we're gonna go ahead and gut this rabbit so a similar pinch like we did with the hide but upside down on his back we're gonna lift that skin and we're gonna make an incision and we're gonna cut him up to his rib cage and then down to his pelvis you don't want to cut down into the gut sack just kind of opening that hide up like if he had a zipper in his middle and just going to open him up to kind of expose everything. Now this is a great way to practice cutting around the pelvic canal. So I take a knife and I kind of work right around his vent and try and cut that area free. Same thing you do on a big game animal, just a small scale uh, practice animal. Then for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and take a pair of scissors and cut the rib cage open so I can give you a nice bird's eye view of the inside. Right at the top of the screen there is his heart. On both sides is his lungs going right into the liver. And then there's a diaphragm that separates the cardiovascular from the digestive. And then you follow that down through the digestive tracts, right out through the pelvic canal and out his vent. So your cuts wind up being cut around the vent or cut around the inside of his pelvis there, so that is separated. The next cut would be right there at his windpipe or his esophagus, you make a cut there. And then just using a couple fingers, you're just gonna lift those guts out. You're gonna be separating that diaphragm from the skin and you're just gonna lift that whole gut pile out nice and clean. Here's another look at it in fast pace on the cottontail. With the guts all removed, I'm going to go ahead and take the lower end of the foot off. 
either using a heavy duty scissor or a knife. I just pop those joints there, get those gone and we're ready to start quartering. Now, if you have the means, I like to do a quick ice water rinse between the gutting and the quartering. So with most animals, I like to remove the back end first. And the easiest way for me is to just take in, kind of hyper extend those hips. There's a ball joint in the back. Once you've exposed that little ball joint, it's real simple knife cut, just cutting the meat. Remove one hind quarter, then the other. And then I move up to the front shoulder. The only thing that holds shoulders on is meat. You get behind that shoulder blade and just make a nice cut. Then I flip them over and remove the back straps or the loin, the piece that runs from the shoulder blade to the pelvis on the backbone. The easiest way is to run that knife down the backbone and then kind of work your way over. Very simple when showing new hunters or young hunters. This is a place where there's no reason to hurry. Just take your time, move your knife. When your knife hits something hard, just go the other direction. And then underneath, rabbits don't have much of a tenderloin, the loin up in the inside. But I encourage you to practice on it. So get in there, remove those little loins, and then your rabbit is butchered. Now that your rabbit is all cut and quartered and had a good wash, I just drop it into a little canning jar. This is a little half pint from Kerr. I put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, Make sure you clean the rim, put the lid on. I throw it right down in the pressure cooker, 15 pounds of pressure for one hour. You've got a product that'll stay on the shelf between two and five years. I ate both those rabbits in the same night. You know what's funny to me is there's gonna be some people that are gonna push back. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. I can't believe you killed a rabbit. Never considering the fact that by shooting some, I helped tons of them. And if I was in a little white lab coat and I wasn't a hunter and we were in some science lab somewhere where we cut it all apart and talk about it and then throw all those parts in the trash, nobody cares. But when a hunter does it ethically, kills it ethically, creates a product trying to show people how to do things ethically, cooks it and eats it, he's the bad guy, we bumped our heads. If you're going to be nasty, Go do it somewhere else. For right now, to everybody else, thank you for watching, and I'll keep them coming.